Hello, welcome to Jenny's Paleontology lesson and welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm very happy and excited about the two kinds of dinosaurs that we're gonna explore within Jurassic Park today, as one of them was really my childhood favorite. So today in this video, we're gonna be exploring the portrayal of Parasaurolophus and Triceratops within the first Jurassic Park movie. Without further ado, let's get this video started. In Jurassic Park, Parasaurolophus appears briefly in the beginning of the movie where Dr. Grant and Dr. Sattler are stunned, amazed, captivated by the sight of Brachiosaurus and both Brachiosaurus and Parasaurolophus in the distance. They were shown to be congregating in a pack and hanging out by a large lake or lagoon. Parasaurolophus was a species of herbivore urinithopod that lived about 84 to 74 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period in what's today U.S. and Canada. It measured an average about 11 meters long from head to tail and weighed about 3,500 kilograms. Um, it had this very long, distinctive, blunt crest that originated from the posterior or the back part of its skull. And scientists have been speculating about the use of this crest for such a long time. And they have proposed a lot of interesting hypotheses, such as it might be used for maybe aesthetic value, for attracting mates, or maybe it's used for vocalization, or maybe it's used for temperature regulation. And all of these different uses and even more exciting new hypotheses are still in the air. Moreover, one interesting fact about Parasaurolophus is that it can walk either on two feet or four feet depending on the different circumstances, which makes it a very adaptable creature. In the movie, Triceratops occurred briefly as Dr. Grant, Dr. Statler, Dr. Malcolm, and a few others were on a tour around Jurassic Park. As they saw the tranquilized Triceratops, Dr. Statler inquired his conditions and was told that it might have symptoms of food poisoning. So, Triceratops. I'm really quite excited to talk about this just because it was really one of my favorite childhood dinosaurs as a kid. Um, even though they're only herbivores, they're still fierce and dangerous and ferocious if they need it to be that way. So, Triceratops, a species of herbivore ceratopsian dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was about nine meters long and weighed about 5,500 kilograms, making it a very heavy herbivore. Its name de derives from its three distinctive horns, making it one of the most identifiable creatures during the late Cretaceous period. And it had an armored crest that guarded its neck and shoulders. Talking about its neck, it actually had this um, ball socket joint at its neck joint that allows for maximum movement of its head, which infers the maximum movement of the horns in the neck frill to protect itself. Um, actually, these horns are speculated or proven to be used to fend off predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. There's been a fossil found in 1997 that is a partial skeleton of a Triceratops with the horn bitten off, and the bite marks match that of Tyrannosaurus rex. And the horn was healed a little bit, so it shows that at least some of the Ceratopsian, or particularly Triceratops dinosaurs, did survive these encounters. So, that's all I have about Triceratops and Parasaurolophus for this video. What did you think about their portrayal within the movie? Did you have a childhood favorite dinosaur? Please leave something in the comment section below so I'll know. And please look forward to the next video where I'm going to be talking about a few more kinds of dinosaurs who barely made an appearance within the movie, but I still think are worth talking about. Anyways, see you next time.